I'm Scott Wheeling with Briggs Core Dynamics, and we're going to talk about training, how we can get faster getting on the target, and as it develops into close quarter battle, CQB, active shooter, basic SWAT type scenarios. Um, part of the reason that I'm using these targets is because they make you think, okay? Yep, we have the old IPSC targets. They, uh, they have their purpose, but how many times in real life is that threat going to be facing you? Maybe they'll be pied off, so it's not a center mass shot. Maybe you have a shot like this where it's a critical thinking shot, and you have to put those rounds exactly where you need them. You can warm up with whatever target you want. I like this target because it's so versatile. It's made by high value target. And um, I think it's wonderful because not only can you do like your dot drills, your dot torture on it, you can go support hand only, strong hand only. You can go uh, commands, you can uh, command initiated. So you can call out the numbers and you have that moving sight picture the entire time. You're not just focused on one thing. So it's kind of an out of the box. Right away, you can ramp up with warm up to doing some uh, target discretion. One of the many ways to utilize this target is just simple contact left, contact right, contact rear. And with the, the person and the target kind of pied off, you know, you're not gonna get that center mass shot. So you're gonna have to do some thinking. We can hit him in the stopwatch area, which is right in here. Shut down the system right away. Or you can go with the center mass, which is less effective, especially on a target like this. As you can see, I kind of moved my uh, my sight alignment, sight picture around a little bit. I did a few aim small, miss small, right? I did a few on this side, did a few on this side, a few center of the face. But this target makes you think, where's the kill zone? Okay, as you can see, I added a impromptu door frame here, but as we pass this door, we come and we'll see a target engage, coming around, seeing another target engage, and then clearing out the rest of the room. I'm gonna talk through this real quick before I do it so everybody understands exactly what's going on. I'm coming up to this door. I'm not gonna do it this close, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look deep, as deep as possible in there and see what I can see. If there's a threat, I take the threat. But if not, I'm just trying to clear out as much of this room as possible. Then you can call it pieing or whatever you want, but I'm gonna make an arc that comes around to give myself and my barrel some room, even if I had a rifle, and I'm gonna clear out the rest of the room and then I'm gonna step in and look deep into that corner as deep as I can to make sure the entire room is cleared. I'll just go real slow this time so everybody knows what's going on here. But as I'm coming down the hallway, I'm gonna look deep into the room as far as I can, come around. All right, so let's see what the hits look like. We got, uh, this guy was the first person I engaged. We had a friendly over here. So those rounds were in here. 
got one just outside, but three out of the four were exactly where I wanted them. And this guy, we had used him before, so you can't tell, but none of them are out of this area. I think the training value for these high value targets, um, it just speaks for itself. We have to have shot accountability. We have to take critical shots, making critical decisions in a moment. And that's what this is all about.